Okay, so it's time for me to cut these big bowl blanks that I made a few months ago that I'm sure you guys watched. Um, I tried putting one on the lathe and it did not work out good. It was too wobbly. There's too much difference between one side and the other and it's scary to cut. So I was trying to think of a way that I could make this parallel to make it safer on the lathe and I came up with an idea using my Alaskan sawmill. But I got to make some modifications to the rail system. So we're going to work this out together. Uh, this piece is wider than what my, blade, my saw will cut, so I'll have to do one side and then go to the other. So to do that, I'm going to take my rail guide that I used in previous videos and I cut these pieces of 2 by 12 inches long. And I'm going to use that to raise it up off of this table. Okay, so that will lift off. Okay, so now I have a steady base to ride it on. That holds that steady. Now, I'd like to have some stops on either side of this so that this can't move while I'm cutting it. So I'm going to cut up a couple more pieces of 2x4 and screw those down into the sides to hold this block in place. Alright, so I got these short pieces of 2 by, and I'm just going to screw those down to hold that in place. Alright, so everything's sturdy now, and I can cut this side with the Alaskan sawmill, and then I'll have to slide this over here and cut the other side. And I have it wedged underneath to keep it from teetering with just some regular logging wedges. Let's get the sawmill out. Okay, so apparently I forgot to turn the camera on. Basically what I said when I had the camera off, <laughs> um, I measured down to the lowest point of the log and I added just a little bit and I transferred that measurement to the depth on my Alaskan sawmill so right now I'm at seven inches. Um, this is cutting through good so hopefully when I get through I'll have a nice flat piece. So I've moved this to the other side so that I can finish the cutout. This side should go a lot quicker because I'm only cutting through just a tiny bit of material. That's much better. Um, now I need to flip it over and do the other side. Pull this out. Flip it over. Braces holding this were definite of necessity. I probably could use another one. Sticker from the pile, so I'm just going to stick that in there on a third axis, so that should. Hold these good. Okay. 
So this time I'll start from this side and I'll finish up on this side. We need to measure the depth and I think I'm going to make it, well right now we got three and a half inches. So, I should make it nine. Use the height on this to nine. Okay, so that worked really good. I got a solid, let's see what we got here. I'm at two and three quarters. Two and three quarters just about all the way around. It looks thin because the piece is so big, but uh, I'm hoping, this seems like I got a big crack in here. I'm hoping that now I can put this in the lathe and it will be a lot easier to turn, it won't take as long. Uh, this is not easy turning doing one of these big bowls. So stay tuned, that worked pretty good. Always like using my Alaskan sawmill. Um, so in a subsequent video we'll put this on the lathe and test it out. I may cut another one of these today to see if it's... I already got it set up so I may do another one. See if I can't get a little thicker. These are going to be cool. The second one cut. This one is considerably larger than the first one. Um, and the whole process still worked great. I got uh, a little more than two and a half inches on this one. And this bottom one, if I can find a tape measure, well, it looks like I'm about three and a half inches. So when I put these in the lathe, these are going to be awesome bowls. Stay tuned. <laughs>